Hi everyone, Amy Fearman here from MommyIncome.com. Here with a quick tutorial to show you how to use the Dymo software to print labels for Amazon FBA. If you have a Dymo, you know that you can print your product labels, but did you also know you could also use your Dymo to print your expiration date labels and other labels that may be helpful to you for your Amazon FBA business? It's actually pretty easy to do using the software that comes with your Dymo printer. It comes on the CD that comes with the label printer when you purchase it, or you can download it from the Dymo site. I've already got it open here, and it takes you into the label section. Now, there are two types of labels that people use for Amazon FBA. There's a 30252, which is 1 and 8 by 3.5. My preferred label is the 30334, one and a quarter by two and a quarter. It's the one I started with. It's the one I've stuck with. I don't see a need to change. I now buy them in bulk. So that's the label. Now I'll show you what I've done is I've created a number of different labels that I've saved. That's what I love about this is I can save them. I only have to create them once and then I have them to go back to the next time I need to print them. Now here's my best buy one, my expiration date label. I just go in, I click on it again, I can change this to be whatever I want it to be. And then I can just print however many or however few I like. Now I will tell you, be very careful with the number that you enter in here. Make sure you know what it is before you hit print. Because if you enter too many and you try and stop your dime away, it's going to jam it, guaranteed. So just let it run if you do that, but I know that it's instinct to try and make it stop. But if you do that, you're going to jam your printer and cause yourself all sorts of headache. Ask me how I know. Now, I also have a number of other labels that I've created on here. I've got this as a set, do not separate. I use these on anything I put together as a set because Amazon is notorious for taking sets apart. So I try and put this on everything so that they know that they're not supposed to take that four pack of shovels or that bundle of whatever apart. I also have multiple items open and scan. If I pack a bunch of smaller things into a box, I had them throw an entire box of makeup away once because they didn't open it and scan it. I got reimbursed for the whole thing, but they lost the whole thing. Um, I also have an additional carton required for shipment that I put on the outside of boxes that look like they're sturdy enough to ship alone, but really need to have a second box to go with shipping. I also have single item do not open. When I pack items in boxes, I put this over the tape seams so that Amazon doesn't open those boxes thinking there's more inside. Those are all the labels that I've created and saved. All you have to do to save a label once you've created it is hit the save button. A window will pop up and it will show you um, how to name it and then it automatically will show up in this window here. It's really simple and easy to use. If you guys have questions, feel free to connect with me on the Mommy Income Facebook group. Um, if you are not a member of the Mommy Income Facebook group, feel free to send me a friend request on Facebook with the code word hashtag Dymo, and we will get you into the group so we can get your questions answered. Thank you so much, and I hope you found this helpful.